Okay. Hello everyone. This is Ricardo Single Wheeler here, also known as Trainsmania 2020 or 2021. Well, today I'm going to make I'm going to be doing around the I mean do I'm going to do several um things around my train zona. And well, I only first wanted to was to start something that has been going around the whole week. Well, maybe all you already know on Twitter that that uh, May 6th, only two days ago, that it was my my birthday. So I'm officially 18 years old. Although my birthday was on May 6th, we got to celebrate yesterday on May 7th. So, well, indeed, he was very, you don't know how I, how happy I, how happy it was being to hit 18 years old. I'm sure many people already feel that before. And to those who aren't, well, I'm pretty sure when that time comes, you'll feel, you won't, you won't even believe how the feeling it is. Actually, the feel the feeling will be when you hit eighteen years old. Indeed, it has been a while since I haven't done any live streams. Well, it's because I've been very busy with schoolwork and such. Indeed, I really. In other words, I really want to end that. But still, I better. I better. I also had to enjoy as much as I better had to enjoy the free time I have today. So well, let's continue ahead. Now this road is you know, my one who this road is actually one that is from a from a train's website that is also a train's reforged version of this. Of the city and country in the USA, one of the first trains roads that the generation of trains has. Well, this, as I said, this is a reforged version, and of course, I also be merged this road along with other roads to make a Galaxy Railways road, which is the Galaxy Railways was an anime series that was I'm sure for the two thousand from the 2010s, which only got two seasons. One which one with uh with season one both in Japanese and English language, but the second season was only a Japanese language. So mainly that yeah. Also I uh, I Sure, everyone has already noticed my stinting models, which is, which is really amazing how everyone is using now these days. So, you can also let me in the comments or here in the in the chat what you think about them, and if you notice anything wrong with them. But still, this the reason why I make my my. Why I made my Steam Team models? It was because I watch, I be watching many people's many people's Steam Team models, and I thought I should better start my own too. Of course, the first engine I ever made of the whole Steam Team was Emily. Well, including the her Osic style, which really I I changed a lot ever since. I also still. The model is still available in Tidbit Yard 3D, so that's a good thing. Okay, now here's an. So I also been thinking about other things I want to do in trains in the future. But also to keep my channel afloat. So the reason. Here's one. Here's what I've been thinking. Since I now hit 18 years old, I put a comment in well, in my community, in the community of my YouTube channel, of, of, 
about starting a new Patreon anchor so I could shout for the nations of what you want me to do. Of course, that will have to be in people's decisions of what they want to see in my channel. But still, it's, for, it's because I'm doing what I love the most to do, which is trains. Trains the game and, of course, trains in reality, as, as you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So, I also been... About my Galaxy Railways Road, I been modify a few, a few things here and there to make it more like it's on the future. These routes here is also are actually planets. Well, they act as a planet. They act as a planet. So, well, I mean, also, and also these ramp, also I be making these these bridge supports of the ramps of the Galaxy Railways. And how I make this? Well, that will have. Well, I can tell my secrets. But all that I can, but also I've been getting a few KNL trains content right a, a few days ago, including I just got one yesterday. You sure you already know this engine, of course. You know, let me search for it. Oh, here it is. There we go. You're, I'm sure you all might saw this engine in Kennel Strange's videos. Indeed, it's also one of my favorites that I ever that I ever seen. Apart from from the Norfolk and West Articulated 2018, including the 611, one of the and as well, one another, including several other engines, including the 10, the class 94. A turn wheeler, including, including, including another fictional locomotive at the, from the Drybrook and the Sepus Valley Railway, which is you can find the history about it in in Kinell's trains videos or even watch some some uh, approach approach it maybe on this YouTube channel about the dry, about the route, and also the and also the road is available on jointed rails. Point of rail actually. And indeed it's really cool. I don't have the Dryberg and the Surplus Valley Railroad myself, but someday in the future I will be able to have it. But still I also got I also got a number 13 right here. Let's check out with this excursion train. There she is. He's such a beautiful engine. Just let me put some sound. Hang on. I just always turn down the sound of the of my game so I could hear, so I could sit here and also watch my watch some videos on YouTube. Just to give me, just not to be so silent here in my bathroom. There she goes. Also, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have already watched my video about the Strasbourg Railroad. And well, it's really since ever since I start to search information about the Strasbourg Railroad, it has been become one of my favorite tourist ra tourist railroads that I that I got the dream to visit. And indeed, I never want. Indeed, the first time I saw the I saw the Strasbourg Railroad, well, one of its engines was was well, on Thomas and the Magic Railroad, which I never knew about. About no, the former no, Norfolk and Western 475 when I watch it in the movie. Not even new on other locomotives like like number 90 or even or even number 89. 
including the Mer- including those American tank engines that were turned into Thomas characters for Day Out with Thomas events. And of course, yes, I still using trains in the era. Just trains 2019 is almost occasionally. Also, speaking about trains 2019, I'm pretty sure you already know about the issue some people are are having with some of the with trains 2019. And yes, about the update CP3. Well, I really got to admit, he's really rubbish. Wheel slipping, including brake sound. Wow, that's a big issue. Well, the thing the thing with me is that I just I never got those issues because I haven't updated my trains 2019. I had the intention when I saw the update, but now that I already saw, when I already saw where the goops, I decided not to. So yeah, I decided to keep it my train 2019 as it is. I only going to continue use it from time to time, but also going to continue e- using trains to trains in your era. Also, I've been hearing several people are moving to trains in the era from twi- from trains 2019. And yes, it's their own decision. Okay, just night. I just want to say thought trains. T- well, I don't know what the issues is with you, but in but I actually change it. I actually make some modifications on the Strasbourg Railroad Road, but not on the one on Download Station. Actually, a version that is available, I already forgot where, but I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure they use some some content from some websites. And of course, well, it's also sad to realize that. Uh, the old former Camelback 1187, aka Strasbourg Railroad, is already taken away from Strasbourg Railroad to a museum. And it's so sad. I got a fun of the Camelback. Yes, from 2015. Also, well, I been also here's an here's something that I already noticed in some of my Steam Team models that nobody people ever realized did I mean did realize. Well I I got a small talk with I got a small talk with a use with a user on Twitter that's known as Tony Pilot, which which is means about which is about four of my Steam team models. Well, uh, some small groups. I was able to notice those, and I was able to notice. And indeed, I fix it. Uh, let me show you here. Um, let me show you here some. Let me show you here some some of those I know that I noticed uh, that Tony sent me on Twitter. Hang on. Right here on the line. Here it is. So here's, okay, here's one of those for Gordon and Henry. It turns out it's caught where we're, we're misplaced. Instead of being here, the color wave should be up here, which is shown here from the heat era models. You know, when Tony showed me, when Tony showed me this, I thought he was referring to the 
he was I thought he was referring to something else that he that he noticed on the wheels. But now looking closely, now I see what he was talking about. Well, this is the first one. They also the saying there was also another thing with Doc and Oliver. You see the cap the cap steps, including the doors, the running board steps, and the lower sandboxes, which were missing from the model. Instead, well, I was eager. The reason why I didn't put this is because I was eager to see how people how people would be happy if they seen my Steam Team models. But of course, I was able to notice those in time and I add and I added them. And of course, some issue some and well, the bricks and sandboxes on Malibur were also missing as well, as it shows here comparing my model and from the model era Oliver. These screenshots were taken by Tony Pilot indeed. I really thank him. I really thank you a lot for noticing those in time because I just right now, I fixed those issues. Let me show you on trains, okay? Okay, now let's. Also, I hope I also hoping that some of my friends will be joining the live stream if they ask me on DMs or on Discord. So let's show first with about let's show you the fixes I don't do to Gordon and Gordon Henry and Gordon Henry Doc and Oliver. Okay, first first here is Gordon. Now the color weight is now in place on Gordon's drive wheels. And also the same the same goes to Henry to Henry's driving wheels. But yeah, these models are fixed now. And for Oliver and Duck, I've I put the missing part of that that Tony told me that they were missing. Now Oliver has his own, now Oliver has his sandboxes and including his brakes. And also another detail that I noticed is because he was also missing his cap doors. So, which I already noticed, I decided to put them. And for Doug, he also has his own, I also put him his cap doors the cap steps and including the ones including the including the step on the running board and including the sandboxes. So yeah, the models are fixed now. So, well, yes, this is how. For these models, these these were the these were the, the things that were missing on them. Uh, it's all they are all fixed now. I also had to, I also had to, um, had to add a. I also must add those. Those models into the links that, that were on that are on Tidmid R three D. I hope it, I hope everyone can notice in time and submit the edits on them. Okay, it seems that one of my friends has already joined the live stream. Hey, howdy, hey. Hey, Mike, what's up? Yeah. Nothing, just uh, I'm only going to be here for... Actually, I don't know how long I'll be here because I've got a package coming and I'm right next to my front door, so and I can see outside as an aerial view to my to my front for my front oh, yard, so I can, yeah. Oh, so you are receiving a package? Yes, I am. It's a very special package, so I'm waiting. So if I don't answer, like, very quickly, if I'm, like, spaced out, that means I'm looking out my front window. Oh. So just letting also, you know. So what's the, what's special in the package? You, I will, I will show you on camera when it gets here. Is that okay? 
Sure. That not trying to not trying to spoil it. Just you know. Shoot. Yeah, I know. I used to win a package too. In a, well, during these days. Oh. Oh, so he's. Seems that Michael already. I'm oh. I'm back. Sorry, I had a phone call. If 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 anyone heard that loud ringtone, that was my phone. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my phone on silent. Apologies, right. everybody. No, nah, it's all right. It can happens. It happens to everyone. Yeah. Apologies if anyone had any earphones in. That was my buddy, my buddy's friend who uh, wanted to talk to me, and I was like, mm, "Not right now, man. I'm busy." Anyway. Um, I'm actually looking to find more VAs for my friend's series, but we haven't been, he hasn't been filming for a while because, well, for, he has, it's just, he's been slowly but surely doing it. I was wondering if you're up for it, um, Ricardo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alrighty. Let me, let me contact him. No specific accent needed. It's an American, it's a Canadian slash American series let me see if i can find him oh also yep. also now that you mentioned mention a package i also waited for a package too uh, okay but it's not arriving today it's is uh, it is expected to arrive between six between the six and the 11 and the 11 of this month oh, my okay. father my father my father agreed to order it for me. Okay. Well, I think it's best if I tell what it is. It's a okay. small rock. It's a Batman train set. Oh, okay. I know. No, I also I noticed should... that. I also noticed that also for birthday, as I was also for a birthday present too. He bought another. He also bought another. An American engine too. Ah. I actually got a Bachman American engine. If anyone would like to see, Joe, it's please. Let me give me one sec. Oh, I gotta get up because I'm too fat. I don't think you are too fat. You haven't seen me in real life, Ricardo. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> okay. Hashtag do exercise. Hold on. You can't really see it because of the glare. Hold on. How am I supposed to do this? Hold on. We'll just uh, do it. We'll, we'll, we'll out of the box. No, nah, because it's, it's hell to put it back in the box. Oh. Okay. The Pier Marquette locomotive. Oh. So he's one of the. So this is one of Pier Marquette. So this is one of Pier Marquettes, right? Like 1225. Like the 1225. Oh, so he's at 1225. Yep. Wow. You're lucky. And as you can see, I'm in my new house. Oh. Right back I... there is where the magic happens. <laughs> no, it's just my bedroom and the kitchen and the bathroom. Let me tell you, putting this thing back in the box is hell. Really? It is, because you have to because the, the the block of ice is hell to put it back together. Let me go put this back and then I'll turn off my camera. See, look, look at my fat body. Okay. I also have my friend Ryan, the, the one that who manages the series that I'm in. Uh, he is well. He has not got back to me, but I will let you know what he says. Okay. Also, yeah, if anyone, go ahead. Uh, about yourself, I'll give you an advice: do exercise. Do I know. some exercise. I'm also gonna have some surgery done. Won't say what. Just have some surgery. Anyway. Anyway. <sighs> Excuse me. How was your birthday? It was really great. Just like nice. every year. Man, this this year is this this December's gonna be my twenty first birthday. Twenty first? Oh. Twenty first. I'll be twenty one. Cool. Yes, sir. Also, going back to trains, there's a small, there's some small issues that I got, that I got when I'm playing around. Oh. Uh -huh. Because every time when one of my engines approach to a level crossing, or 
somewhere around the route. There's a small glitchy sound that I hear on my on the headphones, which uh, I really don't know how how can explain that. I don't know. I've I've rarely used trains, so I can't say. Well, it's because it happens to me all the time. Hmm. Well, that's one of the first issues that I got. But also the other issue that I have is about the con is about some of Kionel's trains content with with me. Yeah. Because I know what you mean. Because I showed you did you know about those? I think so. Well, I'm only going to explain it. Because here's some of my advanced steam locomotive controls that come from Kianel's trains. Like a second whistle, uh, blow down the left and right, blow down center, and also these mar these Mars light, whatever these things are. But yeah. well the thing is that now that you have the case put on, I don't know why, but somehow they don't work right now. Yeah, I know what you mean. Especially with the Pier Mark with the Nickel Blade Road 765. Just uh, previously, his second whistle worked amazing, worked pretty fine, but now it seems that that it stops work, that it now stopped working. Yeah. I hate when things like that happen, like in games and such. I know. Oh, uh, also, I got to speak. Also, I asked one of my friends about some help with that, and he told me that I needed the. And he told me about something about the controls. It oh. turns out, it turns out that I got the pre CP one, count controls from my. For my. For the for the models, yeah. And hey, CJ, I, how's it going? He's in the chat. Oh. My bad for cutting you off. Well, hey, C hey, CJ Jones, I was in the light. I was in a live stream with him earlier. Ah, oh, um, I have a question. Yeah, is it okay to bring Brandon or send you in, or or do you just want to just not bring him in today? Well. Um, I'm not sure. I got also some. Well, the thing is that Brandon has been going through some. I did go through something in his life, which I don't want go to detail. Nah, it's okay. I understand. CJ is asking me something. Wait, wait. Elephant Games? I don't know what he's asking. Wait. Why did I get banned? I have no idea, man. Really? I don't know. I would. Sorry, I just worked I'm here. I'm not even in charge of it. Me neither. So don't I just work here, bud. <laughs> That's my answer. Oh, and there's a new episode coming up on YouTube soon. Oh, really? For um, Shunter Productions. Oh, cool. Yep. I'm not going to say what's going on, but it's going to be a good one. I waited to I waited to see it. Yep, just keep looking out. Also, have you did you already saw the about a video about how was Flying Cosmos USA tour, tour in America? I think so. Well, I got it right here. Oh, nice. Looks good. Who did that model? A. It was a guy known as ADH6. Ah. Uh, and the model comes from Dallas Station. Ah. Uh, okay. The whistle, however, it was a really very difficult to find. I a bet. guy in a server had to send me. A guy in a server had to send it for me. Yeah. Hold on, Elephant Games is saying if it's the under th underage thing, I'm 13 years old, and the underage thing is a lie. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say anything. Okay, I don't know when what the underage he's talking about, but but I don't know either. I, but all I can say that is that if you if you really feel like you grow, well, I 
He'd basically act like one. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm 20. I'm turning 21 this year, and you know, growing up isn't fun. You know, you got a responsibility to do. Honestly, you know. Oh yeah, Victor Tanzig's almost at 50k subs. Yep. Oh yeah. I uh, oh yeah. I can. I'll probably email him later. I also hear that is that it was his birth that that just yesterday was his birthday too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm able to email him whenever, but I I leave him alone. I don't really bother him unless I need to talk to him. And I told him honestly. I said, Victor, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I appreciate you letting me talk to you. But I know there's going to be times where you're going to be busy. And he says, I appreciate that, Chase. Thank you for being honest with me. So. Yeah, Victor is not that. He's not much of the talk since he. Well, he, he, does, he does reply. He does reply. He's just. He's just got a schedule. I know. And I gave still, him. But still. The one thing that. Now some of us might be. Look. My other. Well, the thing that some of us suppose bother us is because that Victor doesn't have the social media. Well, we uh, already know what the drama brings. If he yeah, can. People like to make up social, like Twitter and stuff and Discord and think that they're him, but they're not. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I'm not sure, but if he... But if he's going to bring an update to, to the stories of so of stories of Sodor, perhaps he's going to perhaps maybe he maybe he is going perhaps what if he used my Steamty models? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I mean it's possible and it's up to him. Yep. Anyway, um I was just watching a uh a video the other day about a 15F uh, 15F locomotive that was from Glasgow but some of them sent to the some of them sent to um, South Africa so Yeah, I, I have uh, some engines on Steam. I have are um, need to be fixed. Alrighty. Well, um, I don't really know what to talk about. <laughs> no offense. To be honest, yeah, it does kind of get boring. No, it's not not a, no, it's against to you, but you know. Anyway, also, have you heard about the new about that upcoming Ars Road that so the workshop is planning to release in the future? Uh, no. Well, Carson didn't did mention it in one of these videos of a uh, real. Of our release last uh, last Christmas back in back into 2019. Yeah. And I hear this Iris Road is going to have several several places that we saw in the series, but the in the whole seasons. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if the road will have will have the Hunter Henry branch line. And even perhaps the intersection where Emily saves Oliver and Thomas from crashing with each other. Yeah. Hey, uh, Ricardo. Some came up with my family again. A lot of things have happened with my family that just I can't go into. I got to get going. I'm sorry. I, I hate bring, coming into this, staying for a little bit, and then being pulled out. I hate that. I'm so sorry, Ricardo. Oh. Again, I don't like I don't like popping in and out like this, but I can't do anything about it. I'll try to stay in next time as best I can, but you know. Okay. I already well, if you're going 
Well, don't worry. If you're going, if you need it to go, that's fully understandable. We uh, yeah, I got to get going. But uh, everyone, stay safe on here. It's it's okay, CJ Jones. It's fine. Stay safe. Got to get going. Peace and chicken grease. Take care. You too. Okay, now we. Okay, well, since I might also have to leave with these years, as you already hear him. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, I also got. Now I want you to comments here, CG Jones. What, what wizard you were talking about? About flying Scotsman's about flying Scotsman's American whistle, or was it, or was it, or was it number thirteen's whistle? Okay, let's see if he responds. Well, I having the, these Galaxy Rose Road work in progress still. It's not all that finished yet, but but I really like it. What how what I got so far. Also, several people are were asking me about that iOS road that I'd be using in my videos. Well. It's a modified one, which I'm making myself. Several, because that because these are these IOS road is going to remain private because I make because if I release it, I is won't be allowed because the road in the road in question it will belong to Solar Allen 3D. So yeah, that's mainly that. So Ricardo, if if Timothy's bogey was in the depths pack, why does that mean that you will release the Timothy? Well, I'm planning on that. But rats, I should check out what I should look at my depth. I should look at my depths every now and then. Well, the thing is that I got a Timothy model too, which is I use my Thomas, my T T T T, my T T T E Thomas model, for the Steam team. So I I'm planning on releasing someday. So once it's released, you won't we, you won't need it to wait to, you don't even need it to wait if. If it's there. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. He's just sure it's because I got... I haven't got used to live streams since I don't remember the last time I did one. Okay, here's the honors right as you can as you already saw in the video in several of my videos. Uh, I've been doing uh, small changes around here which uh, some some people didn't realize but the biggest changes but here's one of the biggest changes I did. Well since the railway series tip and sheds was located located in some place like this, well I decided to I decided to make one myself. My friend Nick the Sturdy Tank got the idea of doing this. Put the put the Timma the terminus here on the Little Western. The reason why? Well, he already knows about it. Uh well, as you can see, either the. the as you can see, the terminus is right here. The, the other tracks are here as well. In the yards and the turntable is back at the back of the station. Well, hi, when I was making this, I forgot to delete this one over here. But once I got edited, I will remove that too. 
Also, I well, I also added the original to the sheds from the railway series, and it's right here because I put those here, and well, as you can see, it would it would tell if those if those sheds weren't weren't rebuilt. Actually, in my words, I think the I think these sheds were abandoned at some point and the engines and the engines were moved to Nap were moved to another sheds over there where where it's near to Napper Station. Okay, also I mean now that I talk now that we're here, I think it would be a good idea if I talk about about my own head cone on, on with my on my train zona. Well the thing some things I in my train zona is are one of many. One of those is one of those mainly is that Emily used to be part of the Sodor and Mainland Railway. And she was the express engine since her class was one of the fastest in the old days. Pull design for light passenger work. As you can, and also as you can guess, maybe Neil Climate Map, Neil Climate Matthew, here, Neil Climate Matthew's old manager decided the idea of putting a new express service, but none of them were able to keep up the pace for the passengers. So oh, yeah, that's why I put Emily with the Southern Mainland Railway. As for the Westwood and Southern Railway, I think a Midland Spinner would be a good idea to be their express engine. I mean, I know, I mean, I also been watching uh, several videos and some of them talk that Winston sometimes spend the night with the, with the Westwood and the Southern engines, Colin, Lily and Adam, which make me think, was he, does this make him the Wasman and Sutheries number four? I really don't know, but, but still, he's actually, well, no, he's not part of the Wasman and Sutheries railway. He's actually part of the Tim Manafrin and Northbridge railway. And as for the, and as for the Tim Manafrin and Northbridge railway, once again, it would be it would be both uh it would be start with Winston, Edward, and also base from and also base basing from and also want and also base from from several from 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 LBS from LBS productions. We will be also be part of the Timber Napa Northbridge Railway and including Timothy, the silver tank engine, Thomas's brother, and also be thinking about other engines, which uh ah uh, yes, Glenn Glenn will be also part of the Timber Napa Northbridge Railway too, as one of the branch line engines. So that's how we'll, and also Lady would be a good perfect asset for for the Walsworth and Southern Railway as well. Because she would be the perfect number five. After all, we don't know where exactly Lady comes from and how long she was on Sodor or she was before like the other engines. So I believe she was also a part of Walsworth and Southern as well. Because based from her industrial, for her industrial model on sort of workshops, I think she was part of the WS. As for the Midland Spinner, it would be actually one of the OCs of one of my friends, our Connor Iron Claude. He is so his Midland OC named Cornelius. Also, 
this siding over here, I've been thinking about making a video with of, of one of the narrow gauge stories called title six lovely tenders, you know, that because well that because that that story really was very interesting. And also it explains what happened to the six old tenders that dog grow for Henry for a trick. And of course the reasons for that that they got scrapped indeed were were unpleasant. Also, I, now that I got my Steam Team models, I perhaps start, I, perf, I perhaps start, start remaking my Solar Fallout videos, the first ones I made. You know when Edward, you know where Edward, where Edward escapes from the blast, and of course where, where he and James made up an effort. Including the scene that Go that Boko returns back to Sodor. <sighs> Sorry for that. I'm being a little bit tired. And also, since I don't have anyone around here, well, I really don't know which one. I don't know if any if there is any people free right now to join me. Now here, now also, now that I made my my own Edward model as well, perhaps Victor would be update his version, the his 06 Mickey. I don't know, but it would be a good idea. Also, many people were asking me if my models were allowed to risk in, and always the answer was no. Only the people I trust or I allowed are, or the people that, or some people are allowed to risk in them. And yes, it is true. They are not allowed to risk in, sadly. Really, many things have been changing around here. With several changes, I want. With several changes, I really want to, want to be the old one to have back, of course. Also, I also I better I better show something to to all of you that something that I've been working on recently. Hang on, let's. Okay, here it is. You all may recognize this. This is circuit. This is KG Junior Circus Train. I done my own version earlier, but that was when I started my first attempts of modeling. So I've been thinking about remaking the circus train again. And yes, I am hoping that this will re that this will I'm not sure if this will be released in Tidmajar 3D, 
but I can tell. I only will be using for for myself, and only my friends will have it for for free use. This is the best circus train I ever done in my life. Also, I've been also high, and now looking closely, you already noticed this. These blue wheels right here. Well, I use, I put Casey Jr. I cloned Casey Jr. I cloned Casey Jr.'s tandem wheels for to make the pony trucks of the of each of each van and flat car, and including the two coaches as well. Don't think I leaving that behind. So yeah, the first ones I got so far were the first yellow coach. The first two flatbeds, including their load, as well as the elephant van where where Dumbo and his mother travel with the other mad elephants. <laughs> you don't really know what I'm talking about. And including the flatbed with some of the circuit stuff, the giraffe's car. And well, I also going to start with this flat car, the giraffe's van, this other flatbed, the the other two vans from the back, and including the including the last coach and the caboose as well. I also better put some more work on that. Also, now that now that I'm looking at this, I better also start working on. I think I also better start working on this. Also, I there's another subject I also want to talk about. Remember now that we already saw for the Sodor fallout and how Tipper Thunderbolt is going, is going with it. I really want to know what's coming up next. Because, well, there's also another thing about it. You see, Tidmouth Thunderbolt, Tidmouth Thunderbolt didn't allow OCs in his, in his auto file hat comb, but, and every people were coming in my video as well, that, OC, that Tidmouth Thunderbolt said no OCs. Well, I want to make that clear that now Tidmouth Thunderbolt changed the, changed the rules. Now, he now... Now he doesn't mind us using OCs on this sort of fallout because it's for half fun, as we already know. And also, you'll be wondering which uh, this thing right here, where this is uh, some of the some of all the circuit stuff to make the the huge circus carp and all that. And as for case, and as for Casey Jr., I also been thinking about how I would make him, how he would look like, about his backup story in my head cone, because none of us really know what. I really don't know why, but there's something on him that I really like the most. Of course, he is one of the, he is one of many trains I've been watching, and he did. I really like Casey Jr. so much that that was the reason why I I put him on trains. <sighs> Oh. 
also, I can tell another thing that I noticed. Now that I'm looking to, now that I'm looking more closely to Casey Jr. Circus Train, to the whole to the whole cars that were showing the movie, and including when they were loading their train in the Dumbo movie on Disney. I also noticed that several cars were missing, and including a couple flatbeds, like well, the hippopotamus water water box box car, including the ones that can that can they can roofs well also go too. And well, most well most of those most of those cars are also missing as well. And to be more specific, I got this right here. Well, as you can see, these are differences between the circus train that Casey Jr. pulls. This one here, this one here is the one that the one here is the one that shows in the movie, and the one up here is is basically the same one, but with the extra with the extra vans that never got the show in the movie. Uh, well, so that didn't how we that weren't show where Casey Jr. departs from the state from from the yard. As you can see, this is the van where the carus go, and this is one for the hip for the hippopotamus. I'm sure. I'm sure in one of these vans is where the other animals go. This is one of the birds travels, and I'm sure this is one of the lions travel as well. And also, I think this one, or I think this is where the tigers and the lions travel, because I can't be sure. But this is one of, but this is one of the one of the vans where the sep, where the zebras travel on. Indeed, uh, doing all, indeed making a lot. Of, when you're working on modeling, it really takes time and patience to, and also, and also, and also be aware of which part, which details it needs, and all that. As for the giraffe's car, I really don't. I want. I'm now wondering. I need to do. I think I need to do this space for. I need need to do the interior here and including to make the, make the holes for the giraffes in here. Yes, I think that's what I need to do next. But. I. It's best if I continue with, continue with this. This is a mall. These are also one of the cars that. This is also one of the cars that are, are in the circus too. Also, now they. <sighs> now I really don't know what I'm talking about. I don't. I really don't know what what I want to talk next.
It's <sighs> really boring. He's really boring, believe me. When at some point you're a bit. When you are doing a live stream and you're the only one though that is around. I, he's not, for me, it's not that fair at all. My opinion. Also, for my pay, also, I did, maybe, oh, some of you, also, about Patreon, I also been thinking about making my, as I said in the start of the live stream, I think it would be nice if I started, if I start making, if I start my own Patreon, Patreon anchor from, for myself. You know, for the nations and what people want me to do. Okay, sorry if I've been very silent. I really don't know why. I really don't know what to do right now.
Okay. Live stream is being reduced to two viewers. Great. Okay, I've been streaming for one hour and since it started to get a little bored now. So, um, I think this is going, I think this is going to be the end of the live stream. Sorry everyone, but it seems that now the live stream on our, in a moment like this, I don't think it would be the best one. I mean, I love doing live streams, but when but well, when people is joining, that's where the fun starts. But now we know people around. It says we have Mike earlier. Well, I think it would be best if I end the live stream right now. Because I can't stay here all day. I also got other things to do. But still, I really, really thank you everyone for those who could join right now. It was really... It's really nice to do another live stream, but I do hope, but I hope the next one would be, would be, uh, would be best than, than this one. Okay, I think it's, okay, I think it's time to end the live stream right here, so thank you everyone for those who, who were here to watch this, and including, thank you, thank you for those who sent me their best, I mean, there is a bit there comments about for a happy birthday. I really appreciate it. Okay, this is Ricardo Single Wheeler, Trains Mania 2021. And see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.